Welcome to our lesson about using the Content Center. Let's go to the Tools tab, click on Application Options, and go to the File tab. Here we can see the default location for Content Center files. Let's cancel out of the Application Options window and return to the Assemble tab. Now let's click on the Place drop down menu arrow and select Place from Content Center. I'm going to expand the Fasteners branch. Now Bolts. Hex head. And let's scroll down. Let's double click on the hex bolt inches. Now, when I move the bolt across the hole, we see the green check mark. At that point, you left click. After we position the bolt, the auto drop options appear. The first icon we click on to change the size of the bolt. Next, we can select a bolted connection. We choose Apply to place the fastener but keep the tool active. And the last option finishes the current insertion and closes the tool. Let's use Apply. Now we can specify the thread for the bolt. Let's click OK. And let's place a second bolt. Once again, we're looking for the green check mark as we hover over the hole. There it is, left click. Apply. Let's click OK. Let's try to place a third instance of the bolt over this hole. Instead of the green check mark, I'm seeing a symbol. Let's left click anyway to place the bolt, and now let's try to change its size. And as you can see, here is our problem. Our hole diameter is an eighth of an inch, 0.125, but our smallest bolt diameter is a quarter inch, 0.25. This type of bolt doesn't offer a small enough bolt to fit in the hole that I've created. Let's cancel out of this dialog window. And let's right click and delete the third instance of the bolt. Once again, let's activate the Place from Content Center tool. Now I'm going to press down the Alt key and double click. Let's select the thread diameter of half an inch. Click OK. And let's place our bolt about here. Right click and done. Constraints. Insert. Select this face. Apply. Cancel. To learn more about the Content Center, do check our Inventor Basic course. Later on in this course, we'll be using the Content Center as well. Now to change the size of a component, right-click and select Change Size. This launches the dialog window that we've seen previously. Let's cancel out of it. Another option is to replace from Content Center. And here we can select a different component, one that is a better fit. Let's right click and edit. And this concludes our lesson about working with the Content Center in your assembly.